Here's your top science news from the last 10 days, followed by your three-day global forecast and current conditions. We're starting with record-breaking shots from New Horizons. Of the thousands of Kuiper Belt dwarf planets, a number of them are positioned just past Pluto, so the spacecraft was able to catch these amazing shots. The panchromatic images are the furthest out such images have ever been taken. A great paper came out this week about how all three standard binary formation models cannot explain a real-world observation, opening the door to numerous alternatives that have thus far been less popular. New information out about the TRAPPIST-1 system suggesting it is a water system. While some planets have more in the atmosphere, some have copious liquid water, and some have icy shells possibly over liquid subsurface oceans, one of the closest and most interesting exoplanet systems is full of water. Speaking of water, the Central Pacific was noted to be a full degree below average last month, dropping us further into La Nina conditions despite a neutral OLR and cloud cover profile indicating it did receive adequate sunlight. Top story to hit our world was the first mainstream recognition that the coming solar grand minimum could drop temperatures on Earth this century. It was also featured in our five-part series, at least five parts so far, on Earth's magnetic reversal, the magnetic pole flip. Links to the series are found below this video. Now here is your three-day global forecast and current conditions. I will see you in the morning. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.